Ah, uh, my friends, it's Coach Vig. Welcome to day seven of your seven day power yoga challenge. Congratulations for making it to the final day. Your dedication, your passion, your consistency, and your focus has brought you here. Today we're gonna do a total review of everything we've done. It's gonna flow, it's gonna move. As I always say, I'll try to keep my talking to a minimum as we go through this amazing body weight only workout to build strength, stamina, focus, and expand everything we have. Right now or when you're done, go to Instagram, post about this challenge, post about every single day when you do them, and always tag me at Sean Vig Fitness so we can all do it together. All right, no more talk. Take a few deep breaths and let's get ready for something quite extraordinary. Day seven of your seven day power yoga challenge. <laughs> All right, my friends, cap on, sunscreen is on, beautiful green screen behind us with the ducks. Remember, we are stockpiling movement patterns, flows, sequences, exercises, all to make us more adaptable, always more adaptable. These seven workouts build on each other. Let's begin in child's pose. We're gonna flow, breathe in the nose, out the nose. Exhale back. Inhale forward, plank, modify. Back and forth. Focus on elongating the spine, elongating the back, and breathing into our deep abdominal muscles. Let your flow be effortless. Let it be precise. You can always modify as needed and always use control. Use discernment when exercising like this. Two more times. And as always, you'll let me know if somebody comes up behind me, okay? Out of the water. All right, let's bring it forward. And then lower down, hands are on the shoulders, cobra. Cobra pulse, inhale up, exhale down. Bring some heat into the back and some pliability. Blood flow happening, one more time. Child's pose, thread the needle, left arm underneath, Whoop. inhale, center, other side. Forward and down, cobra. Down, back to child's pose, thread the needle, left arm. Inhale, center, right arm. Forward, down, cobra or press up into upward facing dog. Knees down, or lift the knees off the mat. Squeeze the legs, drop the shoulders, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, lower down, press back, child's pose. One more time, thread the needle each side. Smooth movements. Forward, down. Cobra or up dog. Lower down, press back, downward facing dog. Now we are moving, walk the legs. One at a time, release the upper body, breathe into your body, let the blood flow, let it move. We must find that rhythm, the flow as it were. I have to have that flow. I don't have to have it, but when I don't have it, I feel very disjointed, unfocused. I like being in the flow, in the pipeline. Not just on the mat, but all the time. All right, four more times. One, two, three, four. Inhale, right leg up, right foot forward, low lunge. Drop that back knee and then stretch. Remember, these are reviews of what we've done before, back and forth in the first six days of this power yoga challenge. Seven days total, you're on the final one. Back, runner's lunge, 
to low lunge. Let the knees go a little bit over the toes. Fingers down for support. Now bring it forward. Step back, down dog, other side. Left foot forward. And there we are, smooth movements. Stockpiling movement patterns, sequences. Putting your body through a lot of, well, a lot of angles, a lot of inversions, a lot of back bends, a lot of twists, rotations. One more each one, stretch. Forward, step back to flank, vinyasa power flow. Forward, down. Cobra or up dog, we're already primed. Lower down, press back, down dog. Inhale, right leg up, right foot forward, full lunge. Bring it up, arms, whoa. This is always the one, have a little wobbling, that's good. Exhale, cactus arms. Reach, down, down dog, left leg left foot lunge there we are stretch the back leg cactus reach down down dog again right leg right foot lunge precise there we are every time you do it should clean it up a little bit as our body adapts and we build that mind and body connection left foot Cactus. Reach, vinyasa flow. You're always welcome to kick a leg up through plank and then down and then both feet for up dog or cobra. Let's take it back. Again, let's do that again. Vinyasa flow. I'm gonna take the right leg for some balance. Left, back, inhale, right leg tall, right foot forward, lunge, twist. Left hand on the floor, right arm up. Down, down dog, left leg. Left foot, twist. All quiet out there, step back again. Once more on each side, <sighs> open. Nice rotational movement, rotational strength and ability. <sighs> left foot. Vinyasa flow. Bend the knees a little bit, explode forward with control, and down. Down dog. Inhale, right leg, lift, lifting tall, stretch. Right foot forward, lunge with prayer, twist. Fix the blouse, hands together. Twist to the right. Draw the right shoulder back. Feel that space in the sides as you sink down into the legs. All right, hands down, step back, down dog, left leg, stretch. Forward, lunge. Shoulders back and down, stretch the back leg, hands together. When you're ready, twist. Like that, down dog. One more time each side, right leg up, right foot forward. Focus on just what's happening right now. Can also open the arms like so. Your level of consistency will determine how smooth these flows are, of course. Practice, practice, and more practice. All right, vinyasa flow, step back, bend the knees, forward, down. Smoothing out all the time, let the muscles work together. Exhale, down, press up and back, down dog, walk or jump forward, chair pose, twists, tap the elbow on the opposite knee or leg. Two more times each side. One, two, three, four. Dive down, forward, fold, soften the knees. Let that spine flush out, shake it out. Flat back, fingers on the mat or fingers on the shins. 
and then step back to plank, vinyasa flow. Boom. Oh. Feel good? How you feel? Good. I heard some affirmative nods. Inhale, right leg tall. Open the hip, stretch. Press into the left heel. Right foot forward. Take the lunge into warrior three. So we're gonna open the chest, cactus arms, lace the fingers, and look at this. Little surprises. Weight is in the right foot. Whoa, hands down, step back. Back to down dog. Left leg, open the hip. Forward, lunge. Let's see, let's smooth this out. Cactus. Place the fingers. Here we go. Mudra Warrior Three. All right, step back. Lunge. Arms up. Set them down. Vinyasa flow. All right, down dog. Right leg tall again. Open the hip. Right foot forward. Lunge. Fun with lunges, cactus. Arms to the sides. Let's do a warrior three, reaching the arms back. Step back, lunge. Smooth, smooth. Awesome, arms up, cactus. Down, other side. Open the left hip. Forward. Mm. To the side. Line it up. Breathe, focus, and launching up into the air. Launching. Launching, as my son would say. Good. Step back. Good. I slow it down a little bit. Sometimes I go fast and I wobble. Slow it down. Dig deeper into the movement. Vinyasa flow. Step back. Plank and flow. <laughs> Back to down dog, walk or jump forward, chair. 10 twists again, we tap, tap. Press back into the glutes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, dive down, forward fold. Reach the arms back, mudra, soften the knees. Arms down, flat back. Step back, down dog. Whew. All right, lizard with a twist, right leg up. Smooth, bring it slowly forward. Place the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Left hand down or left forearm down and we open in the twist. Slow it down, hands down. Step back to down dog. Left leg. Slowly forward. No, 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 There we are. Twist. Vinyasa flow. I'm going to kick that left leg up. Lift tall. Drop the shoulders and down dog. Once more on each side with that twisted lizard. Keep ushering ants politely off the mat. Hands down, step back, down dog. <laughs> Left leg. There's a lot of hawks up there. Hope they're not looking for a certain blonde power yoga guy down here. All right, vinyasa flow. I'm gonna kick the right leg this time. Open, open. Downward facing dog, stretch it out. Two more breaths. Let that spine release, let the back 
expand think of blood flowing through every every cell every fiber all right right leg up little pigeon flow right leg tall bring it forward hands up we have a proud pigeon we're gonna walk or slide forward stretch it out walk back up and then back to down dog repeat that both sides keep on going left leg right over the center forward walk it up down dog right leg forward every time open the can up a little bit more hear that sound of the carbonation escaping down dog left leg the visual was fascinating for that just now i don't know what visual you got i got a strange visual the mind paints the picture sometimes whether we know it or not right leg forward there we are lift tall shoulders down slide proud oh, down dog left leg forward slide rocking no so i keep rocking it feels good on the hips it moves my low back it moves the glutes proud let's do one more on each side I always hear the sound of Obi-Wan Kenobi turning off the tractor beam in Star Wars Episode 4 when I stretch forward. If you know it, you know it. Walk it up. All right, step back, plank. Flow. Strong lift. Feel the bones gaining some density. Exhale. Down dog. All right. Let's put together that lunge flow with the Warrior Three, adding the standing splits. Arms up, lunge. Bring it back, Warrior Three. And we're going to keep diving down into standing splits. Definitely a review. Now press back to lunge. Cactus arms. Switch sides. Lunge. This one is always a challenge. Always a challenge, my friends. You can also do it with the arms forward. So you're already ready as you dip down into the splits. Soften that standing knee. And then back. Okay, smooth it out. Let's do one more time each side. The wonderful thing is you could pick just one of these flows like this one. Practice it. Do it over and over and over. Smooth it out. Practice makes the master. They can exist on their own in a flow. Ah, melting down. One more time. There's our lunge. Three, got the wind, splits, and back. Vinyasa flow, bend the knees, forward, down. Lower, back to down dog. Walk or jump forward, turn. Look at this, tree pose, balance right out of the gate. Mirror me, heel below or above the knee or ankle on the thigh, hands together. If you wanna add the crouching tree, take the arms up, we go back and forth. Exhale down, inhale lift. This is one you can isolate too. We're gonna do five on each side, but 
Do 10 on your own, do 20, do 30, do 40. Fantastic for the glutes, for your balance, for your core, and it opens the hips. And it's a challenge, something that makes us focus. It makes us work to become better, to improve. That is a marvelous lesson right there. Now take this leg out to the side, hand under the leg or the half Russian, grab the outside of the foot. Let's see how this goes. Relax the shoulders. All right, bring it down. Other side. Anyone back there? I don't think so. All right, we, we could stay in the tree or we take the arms up. We do five. Fünf. No fünf mehr. Practice relaxing your gaze, how your eyes look. You're focused, but you're not straining. I find one of the keys to flowing efficiently and smoothly is being relaxed as you flow, especially in the, quote, more challenging areas of your practice. Whatever your training is, relax, release into it. Use your judgment. Okay. Now we open up to the side or the half Russian. The wind is trying to topple me. I will not let it. Yes. Thumbs up. Okay. Bring the feet wide. Let's do our twist. Hand down. Other arm up. Back and forth. Inhale. Lift. Exhale down. The breeze. The blue sky. Forearm down if you're able. Once more each side. All right, let's turn this to down dog. Right leg. Forward, warrior, reverse. Or hand here. Side angle. Down. Down dog, left leg, other side. Line up the heels. Now reverse warrior, arm across or hand on the leg, your call. Up, extend. I want to get everything in as much as we can in a short amount of time. Hands down, let's do that once more on each side. It's the review at the end of the chapter. or place the hand down on the mat. Step back, left leg, reaching new heights. No, 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 no. And up, extend or hand down. Oh, Pete Townsend right there. All right. Hands down, vinyasa flow. Boom. We're gonna go right into a boat flow. So down dog, walk or jump forward, feet down, lower down, half boat or full boat. Why am I turning? Here we are. Two breaths. And we attach the vinyasa flow to it. Cross the ankles, plank, down. Down dog, again, forward, Smooth transitions down, half or full. Let's do a little half right there. Oh, it's luxurious. Ankles cross, back, down. Boom, boom, boom. Head banging. One more time. Cross the ankles, back, flow. Ooh. 
and down dog. Walk the legs. I had something delightful. Oh yes, our triangle flow. We'll wrap it up with that. I know there's more. We'll get to it next time. Always next time. Let's take the left leg. Left foot forward, triangle pose. Line up the heels, lengthen the legs. Arms out, reach. Hand on the leg or back of the hand to the inside. And we're gonna melt all the way through it. The top arm is slowly melting down into an extended triangle. Stretch. Into revolving. Hand to the floor, foot or leg. Inhale, left arm up into a twist. Hands down, down dog. Right leg up. Triangle, other side. Extend slowly, slowly. Length of this leg, feel that IT band, feel the hamstring, the calves, all being challenged as you rotate. Hands down, one more time on each side, a little more speed this time, but same control. Always flow, triangle, extend, revolve. feeling like a wet noodle by now. A delicious wet noodle, right leg, forward, try it. Extend, revolve, reposition the feet there, there we are. Hello, all right, hands down, flow, bend the knees, slowly forward, down. While we're down here, reach the arms back or lace the fingers. We have a mudra cobra, five breaths. Stabilize your back, open up the chest, open up the shoulders. Relax the neck, relax the jaw. Right, hands down, up dog or cobra. Drop the knees, take it back, child's pose. Thread the needle. Look at this. Let's start to wind it down. Other side. Up. Knees down. Lower. Once again, Cobra Mudra. Arms back or lace the fingers. You can also bend the legs. I'm throwing this one in. We didn't do it in the regular challenge, but we have the bow. Grabbing the feet or the ankles. Open up the chest. Please leave my mat. You have all this grass. I'll be gone in a moment. Release. Child's right hand forward. Again, thread the needle. One of the best stretches you will ever do for your back, particularly the thoracic, the middle, and then the upper back as well. Other side. All right, once again. Forward, down. Your choice, back, lace, or bow. Five breaths. My AirPod key is beeping at me. It sounds like R2-D2. Well, I hope you can all still hear me. I always put the camera into airplane mode. So no distractions, breathe. Excellent. Back to child's pose. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Release as you lengthen. Lengthen as you release. Side to side. It's a job well done, a battle well fought, a flow well tackled. Remember, every time you approach these flows, approach them with breath, with focus. Let everything else exist on the outside. 
Just focus on what you are doing right here, right now. Okay, forward. <laughs> Cap switch down to the mat. Windshield wipers, drop those legs side to side. Arms out to the sides, here, here, or here. I'll keep them right here. Extend the top leg out. I was actually gonna finish it right there, but we gotta add some nice rotation here at the end. So good for your sides, so good for your spirits too. It lifts your mood when you can loosen up the back. You wanna leave this mat feeling released, focused, stronger, more energized, but also released, the wet noodle syndrome. after a massage. One more time, each side. And figure four, right ankle, left thigh, pull, rocking back and forth. Beautiful work, my friends. Always just splendid to train with you. There is so much to do, so much for us all to learn about how our body moves, how it behaves as we go through the years. As we age, we focus on youthening. Left ankle on the right thigh, pull towards you, use that elbow to open the hip. But I find, I'm 47 years old, I find that my goals become very functional. I like to get out of bed in the morning feeling good, having energy, being able to spend great time with my family, to play with my son all the time run and crawl and tackle all those things and of course with Addie too my dog and I like to be able to move to be able to function because if I could do this stuff imagine what else I could do all right my friends beautiful workout that's the final day day seven of your seven day power yoga challenge well done if this helped please click that like button subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to never ever miss one of my workouts post your seven day power yoga challenge each day on instagram and tag me at sean v fitness and i shall respond and share 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 shoulder rolls one more time ah, great work keep focus keep training keep expanding your training and uh, I appreciate you training with me. It's always a pleasure. God bless you. Stay hungry. Oh, I wanted to say something like, stay, stay, huh, stay. <laughs>